Lithium aluminum hydride is great for converting a wide variety of C double bond O or carbonyl functionality into hydroxyl containing functionality. But one of the problems with LAH becomes apparent when we start thinking about more complex molecular structures. For example, consider the molecule here. What if we'd like to synthesize a cyclohexanol from this by reducing this carbonyl functionality? Is there a way to reduce only this CO double bond in the presence of the ester through some kind of selective reduction? If we treated this with lithium aluminum hydride, both the ketone group within the ring and the ester substituent would be reduced. The ester would be reduced to a primary alcohol and the ketone here to a secondary alcohol. So lithium aluminum hydride won't do the job. However, there are reagents that can selectively reduce the ketone over the ester, and we're going to focus on one here, sodium borohydride. Like lithium aluminum hydride, the name sodium borohydride suggests that this is an alkali metal salt of a group 13 element with hydrogens that's anionic, the borohydride anion. And that's, this is true. We can draw a great structural analogy between sodium borohydride and lithium aluminum hydride. However, in replacing aluminum with boron, we've made this reagent much less reactive than LAH. Really quickly though, it's worth noting the structural analogy between LAH and sodium borohydride. Just like in lithium aluminum hydride, in NABH4 we find this highly nucleophilic hydride source within the molecule. And this resonance form, in which there's negative charge on the hydrogen rather than on boron, is an extremely important resonance form. In fact, in the true structure of the borohydride anion, the negative charge is living on these hydrogens and not on the boron atom. And so it's a great reducing agent. It has the ability to reduce ketones and aldehydes, and it can do so selectively. And that's really the key, because we can reduce aldehydes and ketones selectively without reactions with carboxylic acid derivatives, things like esters, amides, and the like. Heteroatom substituted carbonyl groups and carboxylic acid derivatives are harder to reduce for reasons we'll revisit in a second. So for example, sodium borohydride can be applied for the reduction of ketones to secondary alcohols, and this reaction works much like the lithium aluminum hydride reaction does. NABH4 is a source of nucleophilic hydrogen, and that nucleophilic hydrogen adds to the carbonyl carbon. Here, that hydrogen is implied. Acidic workup places an electrophilic hydrogen atom from the acid used in workup on the carbonyl oxygen, generating in this case a secondary alcohol from the starting ketone. Notice also that this substrate contained a second carbonyl group that was part of amide functionality connected to an NH2 group. What the sodium borohydride is doing here is reacting selectively with the ketone over the amide. And this is a great perk of this reagent. The amide is more difficult to reduce, and the reason for this has to do with the fact that the attached heteroatom, which is part of a strong electron donating group, the amino group, attenuates or lessens the electrophilicity of the carbonyl carbon. Electron flow like this, especially this first curved arrow, emphasizes this idea. Just like lithium aluminum hydride, sodium borohydride also reduces aldehydes to primary alcohols, and here again, the nucleophilic hydrogen ends up linked to the carbonyl carbon. Here it's implied. We actually already had a hydrogen linked to the aldehyde carbon, here also implied, and it's also implied in the original structure. And the hydrogen atom that ends up linked to the carbonyl oxygen is electrophilic in the reagents. It comes from the acidic workup conditions. The punchline with sodium borohydride is that like lithium aluminum hydride, it's a source of nucleophilic hydrogen, or H-, quote unquote. However, it's noticeably less reactive than LAH. And this has a number of advantages. The selectivity is one advantage, but the mild reaction conditions are another. Lithium aluminum hydride presents a number of safety hazards. Sodium borohydride is a little bit safer to handle, for example, in the presence of water.